Leo, hope you're doing well. My name is Vince. Welcome to 7D Tarot. Leo, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy. I'll see who's coming and going and if there's any travel on the horizon. Now, Leo, if you have a certain amount of money you would like to manifest or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot and stay tuned until the end of your reading where I will pull a final message from the universe and your spirit animal. All right, so let's dive right in, Leo. What do we got going on for you today? First card, the magician. Right now, the universe is letting you know it's waiting to give you desire, but first and foremost, you have to create an offering. When you create an offering, you will change your life. What is this offering for you? For example, why should you be rich? Why should you have everything you're looking for? This is a legitimate question, right? When you are not present for your pain, and that's the energy that I'm picking up, the universe is letting you know, create this offering, be present for your pain, diamonds are built under pressure. When you are present for your pain, you know what happens? That is when you grow. But when you escape your pain, for example, through vices, right? Things get hard, immediately you drink, immediately you smoke, immediately you binge eat. That's when you're not present and that is the last thing you want. So create an offering. I'm gonna show you exactly how you can create an offering and be the person that you need did growing up and that right there is exactly how you get an alignment and that's exactly how you have your thoughts and your actions aligned together which is your energy will be congruent towards your goals you'll get what you're looking for I'm gonna show you how to do that by the end of your read now before we even start your read your affirmation for today is I welcome money write this down in the comment section let the universe know you welcome money you know what money buys you money buys you the freedom to say yes but also no no I don't think so I don't think I'll be doing that or yes sure I'd love to take first class Money buys you freedom, guys. You can be rich as well. We just had 300K in an account. We didn't even know it was there. We had $300,000 in one day trading account. Guys, it's just, it's getting bonkers now. We had 300K in a day trading account that was there for a year, about a year. I forgot it was there. And this is absolutely bonkers because you don't want money sitting there. But I'm letting you know that when you are present for your paid, I'm inspiring you now. I'm not trying to be humble no more. You can have this as well. So right now, first and foremost, write this down. I welcome money. Like this video, I welcome money. Write this down in the comment section. Right now, be present for your pain. I'm gonna get to that 300 right now, but be present for your pain. This right here, right? When you start being present for your pain, you know what you're not doing? You're not accumulating karmic debt. You are not doing these things that are going to make you feel bad. You're, you, when you have vices, deep down inside your soul, every single time, it's like taking a step backwards, right? Your focus, whenever we have a vice, what are you doing? You're escaping reality. That escaping reality, all it's gonna do is bring misery. Right now, I'm gonna show you how you don't have to deal with this. So right now, when you escape reality, you're basically saying, my life is not awesome, and I need to leave my life. I'm going to show you how to instill non-negotiable habits, make the significant you so you love your life so much that you'd be like, why would I possibly leave this? Why would I possibly leave this? This is crazy. Anyone would want to be you, right? And right now, when you start instilling these non-negotiable habits and being the best version of you, now the vices aren't necessary. Now you drop off the lesser. You know, a lot of times people tell themselves, oh, you know, like I have a hard time with, you know, uh, I'm doing things because, you know, I, you know, I try not to think of that. I should be drinking or I should not, I try not to think of my vices. You don't want to try not to think of anything because law of attraction is just going to attract it in. You just want to be the significant you. So, you know, you drop off the lesser. You're like, oh, I could care less about whatever vice it is. You're thinking of drinking and stuff because my life is awesome when I don't. And that's the energy I have for you. Now check this out. You got the seven of cups with the seven of pentacles. This is what I'm talking about. So right now, expect opportunities to be entering your life when you create this offering. When you are present for your pain, when you are starting to grow, when you are not running away to vices immediately when something happens. I'll give you an example. Like when you are, when you don't accumulate karmic debt and karmic debt is something like, imagine fighting with your spouse. Imagine you and your spouse get an argument. You and your husband get an argument. You and your wife get an argument. You yell at them, they yell at you. Now, for the next three, four, five, six, seven hours, because of that, you are not going to have mental clarity. You're going to tell yourself, oh, it's their fault. Oh, it's my fault. How dare they? I'm so sad. Why did I do this? All that nonsense. You know what you could have been doing in that time? Day trading with that 300K in the account that I didn't even know was there. You know what you could have been doing? Figuring out how to make passive income, you know, on your Amazon businesses. You know what you could have been doing? Setting up Airbnb businesses. You know what you could have been doing? Learning, reading audiobooks, listening to free audiobooks on YouTube. Guys, there's no excuses. You could be having so much fun going for a walk, exercising. 
The very least, what you want to do is change your body. Not only aesthetically will it change your life, and it's the easiest thing you'll do. I'll show you how to do that as well. But it will change your life in a sense that not only do you get confidence, but it's something you have control over. Like for example, you want to start a business. You're like, I don't have the funds. Okay, well, you know what you do control? What you put in your mouth. You know what you do control? Figure out your caloric intake. Hire a coach. Spend 50 bucks, 100 bucks. That same money you spend on junk food. Go hire someone to write you a nutritional plan. This is so easy, guys. This is the easiest thing you'll ever do in your life. Well, Alicia and I are going to be starting offering courses. In our courses, we're going to do your fitness workouts. We're going to do your... your um, uh, nutritional plan on top of that. We're gonna do all this stuff. We teach you how to connect to the universe, really tap into the stream of consciousness. I'm gonna show you how this guy has how to do that when I have extra time. But in the meantime, let me explain to you what you can have. Again, I used to be humble, not try to say this stuff. I'm gonna tell you exactly, I'm gonna inspire you. Basically, right now, uh, today, I found out, yeah, last night, I should say, 11.45 p.m., because that's when I went to sleep. Last night, I found out that I wanted to take a course and this guy that was doing the course, I could either do it online because it's, it's a 12K course, but if I do it, you know, I'm going to make like 1.2 from it. So it's like, sure. So I want to take this course, but in order to do this, now I could either do it online or I could fly to Dubai. And anyone who's been following me, you guys know I was just there three days ago. Literally three days ago is when we landed in South America. So we weren't planning on going back to Dubai for a while. But I told Alicia, I'm like, why don't we just go back? I'm like, why don't we just go back to Dubai so I can see this guy in person and chat with him just for fun? At least just like, sure. You know what I'm saying? We have the luxury, the freedom of saying, yeah, let's go to Dubai. Even though we just came, who cares? Let's go. Why not? No one's going to say yes or no to us. We can do anything we want. You can have this too. When someone asked me for money in my family the other day, and I remembered after a year that we have 300K in account. Alicia had no idea we even had that money in the account because it was just sitting there. Imagine your husband and wife not knowing because they could care less because money's not an issue that there's $300,000 in the account, right? It's not like I was hiding it from her. She, we don't even know. I didn't even know. Alicia comes up to me this morning. You know what her problem is? She goes, hey, I don't know whether to buy a red Doberman from America or Australia, uh, uh, Germany, like Europe, right? One's 10K, one's 12K. You know what I told her? Buy two. The same way you buy matching person, uh, person handbags, go buy matching brother and sister Dobermans. Who cares? Guys, you can do this too. I'm telling you this because you need to know. You need to know you can do this. What are you waiting for, right? So first and foremost, change your body, change your life. Let's go get this. You don't need to wait for nothing, nothing. Create an offering and let's go get this. Now, your animal spirit, here we are. Check this out, turkey spirit. Give with gratitude and grace, guys. If you want to tap into the infinite resources that are out there, which is the stream of consciousness, the centralized intelligence, or the, the infinite intelligence that is out there, being grateful gets you there. You know what being grateful is? Don't be humble. I used to try to be humble. I don't even sound humble anymore, do I? doesn't mean be an be a, be a a-hole, right? But what it does mean is inspire. So what does that really mean? Feel as if you are the best. Your life is the best. When you are like, I am the best. My life is the best. That is not being selfish. You know what that is? That is you being grateful. You are so grateful for your life that I am so grateful that I am the best. I have the best life. I have best. Guys, when I was, you don't even know. Like, take one look at me, right? You're about to read my book soon and you will know where my past is. Do I look like I come from kittens and puppies? I do now, but no. I used to come from a G-ass world. Alicia's a triple OG. You guys have no idea, but you will soon, right? So right now, I used to come from a world that was cray cray. I used to not do any of these things. I'm not holier than now. I used to be the one that was more standoffish than anyone I had to be, for example, right? But when I changed my life around, when it started tapping into the centralized intelligence out there, when I started offering and, you know, providing a life of service to others, you know, my life changed. You're asking yourself, like, why am I even doing these tarot reads, right? If we have 300K in account, why am I doing tarot reads? I would do this anyway. YouTube is the biggest platform. Tarot is one of the most watched things on YouTube. In order for me to provide a service and be able to speak to the collective, tarot is the, and I do this anyway. I, I wake up every single day and I do everything I preach. I got two lights in front of me and a camera. This is me, my service to the world. This is my offering to the world. You can do this as well. You can do this. Trust me, guys. Like, it's so easy. All right, now check this out. Final message from the universe. You are worth it. I know you're worth it. Universe knows you're worth it. Everyone, your mom, your dad knows you're worth it. And even if they don't, they should know you're worth it. Do you know you're worth it, right? Now, the only way you can accept, respect, and cherish others is by accepting, respecting, and cherishing you. Yes, this is what it comes down to. 
be selfish in the sense that your life is the best. Be grateful. You have the best life. I came from a G-ass world that I, man, you guys don't even know. You don't even know what, went, what happened to me when I was 19 years old. How many, how much time was taken away from me, right? I was in a place where, oh my goodness, it's not fun. With that being said, in that place, I told myself I have the best life. So even though uh, my freedom was taken away from me, I still told myself I have the best life in there. I have, I'm so grateful for what I have. That is what I'm talking about. Love your life. I don't care where you are in your life, how much money you have, nothing. Love your life. Be grateful. Tap into the centralized intelligence and let's go get it. What are we waiting for? All right, Leo, hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. Remember, I welcome money. Like this video. Write down, I welcome money. Let's go get it. Love you guys. Until next time, follow your passion.